So last session, we worked on moves to open and strengthen the upper body. And this week, we're going to move south to the lower body. And the practice is going to be fairly vigorous, focusing, focusing on the legs, strengthening the hips, the thighs, those kinds of things. When you think about everything we ask the legs to do all day long, that's a lot of demands on the legs. So we wanna make sure that we keep those body parts strong. And if you've ever noticed, I'm just gonna do a little demo here. Um, people, you know, if you're out going for a walk with somebody and everybody's fine and everybody's feeling energetic, whatever, their legs start to get tired, what do you notice about them? They shift their posture and they start to lean forward. So um, that's not a good thing for your back, number one puts a lot of strain on your back. And it certainly says that your lower body could use a little strengthening. But as with all of our practices, this is your practice. If something doesn't feel safe, accessible, or comfortable to you, please wait it out. Make sure you have your yoga tie handy in the event that you need to use it. And I'll go to my chair now and we'll begin. So now is the time when we really come into the moment so we can be fully present to every part of our practice. And we do that by directing our attention towards the breath, letting your eyes close if that feels safe and comfortable, or simply gazing towards the floor if that feels better. And maybe you're noticing how you're breathing for the very, very first time today. You don't need to change anything or adjust anything about the way you're breathing. Just let yourself notice. Feel your body seated in the chair. Let your spine lengthen. Feel the floor under your feet. Let your shoulders melt down your back. Bringing all parts of you, your body, your mind, your heart, your spirit, all together in this moment. Moving now into the three-part breath, allowing your belly to soften and expand as you breathe in, drawing the breath upward through your chest all the way to your shoulders, and then exhaling from the top down. So actively drawing in the breath and then surrendering to the exhale, letting it all go. Continuing to bring your attention back to the breath just as often as you need to. Remember that the word yoga means union bringing together every part of who we are. Let's take three more mindful breaths. And at the end of that third exhale, release that technique and just 
Let your natural breath find its way back to you. Take a moment to notice how you feel. And we'll bring our centering to close by joining hands in front of our hearts and joining our voices in the sound of Om. Deep breath in. Om. Om Shanti Peace. May we all grow in peace through our practice. Great. So opening your eyes, if they're closed, sweeping your arms up. And exhale, dropping them down. Lifting up through the fingers while you relax your shoulders. And dropping the chin towards the chest as you exhale. So even though we're moving the upper body right now, trying to stay connected with your lower body. So feeling your feet flat on the floor as if you were standing. Feeling your hips, legs, your whole body. The next time you breathe in, allowing your fingertips to lift into seated mountain, pressing up through the fingertips, relaxing the shoulders, And don't forget to breathe. Good. And now lower the arms and interlace your fingers, elbows out to the side. So you're imagining that you're going to um, pull your fingers apart. So the elbows are reaching out in opposite directions. Breathe in, exhale, let's rotate to the right. Keep the tension on the fingers, back to center as you breathe in. Rotate to the left, back to center. So we're moving just from the waistline up, feet are still flat on the floor. So each time you twist, you're exhaling the breath. Each time you come through center, breathing in. and back to center. So another thing you can do here is take your left elbow and draw it towards your right knee. Right elbow lifts to the sky. Breathe it up and exhale to the other side. Nice twist in the spine. Breathe it up and exhale, bring it down. Breathe it up and bring it down. Let's just do that a couple more times. And down. And down. And back to center. Release your hands and let them float down. And notice how your shoulders feel. Good, so let's just reach the left arm up, nice and straight, and begin to sweep it from side to side. So your right hand can rest on your thigh if you like or like want you can just drop it towards the floor want to make sure that both sitting bones are squarely on the chair as you reach across with the breath exhale on the sweep inhale as the arm comes down sweep and down and sweep So let's sweep and hold here, reaching out with the fingers, bending directly to the side. Good stretch in the left side body. Both sit bones on the chair, feet flat on the floor. Breathe into that space you're creating between your ribs. One more breath in, lift the arm up. Exhale, lower it down. Notice whatever sensations are showing up. And this time the right arm sweeps up, side to side. Again, hand can rest on your thigh or it can go towards the floor. When you drop your hand towards the floor, you're getting 
a much deeper stretch in the side body. So you be the judge. Sweeping away the cobwebs. And the next time the arm reaches over, we're gonna pause, stretch it a little further, ground through the feet and the hips. Find that nice, complete breath. Awesome. Bring it back. Take a couple of breaths. Just notice where the sensations are. And we'll do some sun salutations, pressing the palms together, waking up the arms. Inhale, sweep the upper body up. Exhale, reach it back. Breathe it back to mountain, fold at the hips, let the breath go. Palms to the knees, breathe in, come up halfway. Exhaling and folding. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, reaching back. Bring it back to mountain and back to your heart. Remember the exhales are every bit as important as the inhales because the more you can let go of the exhale, the more room there is for fresh energy to come into your body. Inhale, exhale, reach it back. Come back to mountain again, pull forward, let that breath go, squeeze it out. Palms to the knees as you come up halfway, exhaling and folding. Inhale, arms sweep up. And we reach back. Take it back to mountain and exhaling right back to the heart. And if you press your thumbs in towards your heart center, you may feel your heart breathing a little bit quicker, maybe a little more strongly. Just noticing whatever is present Good. and release. So we'll start strengthening the lower body and also working on the back with our Pilates 100. So remembering that your choices are to keep the heels on the floor or you can lift the feet, lengthen the legs and point the toes. Back stays away from the back of the chair. We breathe four times in and four times out while we pump the arms. Here we go. Breathe in, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. In, two, three, four, out. Two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four. Blow it out. Two, three, four. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. And if you can, hold. Engage the core so you can bring the upper body a little further forward. Really feel those muscles work. Great, lower the feet, lower the hands. Now I'm just gonna do a nice, easy forward fold here. Ha. Ah. Relax those abdominal muscles. Wonderful. And let's inhale and come on up. So it's been lovely for walking these days. There's a nice, nice and cool. Sun is warm, but there's a cool breeze. The other day there was like a typhoon wind, but it's still nice to be outdoors. So we're just marching along and you can just use the feet. You can pump your arms, if you like. Or the last piece is to bring the opposite elbows to the knees on an exhale. Feel free to join me or not, as you prefer. Here we go. So it's the knee that's coming up to the elbow, not the other way around. When you bring the knee up, you're working those abs.
And the next time your right knee comes up, we're gonna just bring it up a little bit or a lot. And the yoga tie comes in handy here if you would like to use it. Relax your shoulders. Don't pull your shoulders up, let them go down. Let's circle the ankle. So we're keeping the leg quiet. The only thing that's moving is the foot and the ankle. And let's go in the other direction. Great. See if you can draw that knee up a little higher, a little higher. Your left foot should be flat on the floor. Don't forget about that other foot. Great. Now we're gonna stretch the leg out in front. So feel free to hold on behind the thigh, or this is a really good opportunity to use your yoga tie to hold the leg up. So whichever you prefer, shoulders relax, leg extends, continue to breathe. So make sure you're far enough back on your tie that you're not leaning forward. You wanna keep a nice straight spine here. Great. So we're gonna draw that leg across the body. So I'm gonna take the tie in my left hand and draw the leg across. Ooh, big stretch. Let's do a little massage. Take a fist with the right hand. Just work away on those big muscles that carry you around all day, front, back, side, all the way up into the hips. Great. And we'll go into the figure four stretch right from here. So crossing whatever is accessible to you. It can be the ankles or the knees. I'm going to put my foot up on top of my thigh. So just by sitting up taller, you're going to feel a nice deep stretch in the upper outer part of your right hip. Good. Pressing down on the knee, up on the foot. Remember, you're reading your body for the right level of sensation. So I want a little deeper stretch. I'm going to lean into it. Head stays relaxed. Breath stays steady. Let's do one more breath here. And the next time you inhale, bring yourself up, uncross the leg, and just take a breath before we go to the other side. So I need to walk a little further. I've got to pop my arms. And I'm going to add knees to elbows. Here we go. I find it helps just to blow the breath out through the mouth. It really makes you conscious of the breath and gets rid of a lot more of that stale air. We're going to bring the left knee up here again using your hand behind the thigh, below the knee, or just using your yoga tie. Remembering to sit up tall and circle the ankle. Nice and steady. So many little bones in the feet and they tend to get stiff. I'm wearing shoes, or maybe there's a little arthritis, so it's important that we move the toes. Very important for walking, for balance, all of those things. Okay. Draw it up a little higher if you can. Enjoy the breath. Great. So I'm going to straighten that leg out now. Again, you can hold on. You can use your tie. You can extend your arms, work the leg a little more. I'm going to use the tie here. 
Again, shoulders down. Don't bring your shoulders up here. We want to focus the stretch where it's going to help us in the hips and the legs. So taking the tie now in your right hand, draw the leg across to your body and do a little massage on this side. That feel good. Gets the, gets the circulation going. Those big muscles. Very good. Great. Ready for the figure four stretch? Let's do it. So again, at whatever level works best for your body, making sure both sit bones are plugged into the chair, gently pressing down on the knee, drawing up on the foot, leaning forward, and breathing. Nice, steady breath. Let's take a couple more breaths here. And then the next time you breathe in, bringing yourself up, uncrossing the leg, taking a couple of breaths. So we're gonna come up to standing through chair pose, but we're not just going to stand up and stay up. We're gonna practice standing up and sitting back down again. So I wanna show you um, from the side, because it's a little bit easier to see if I do that. Remember, when you're doing chair pose, the feet come back slightly, but they stay hip width apart, as if you were standing on the floor. So to set, stand up, I engage my core on an exhale and stand part way up. Notice there's still a bend in my knees and my shoulders are back. I'm not leaning forward. Arms can extend or go overhead. So to sit down, you're gonna press your legs back so they're connecting with the chair. You should be able to feel it. And then sit back down. So we're gonna repeat that. We're gonna do it three times. So remember to be careful yourself if um once is enough once is enough stop right there don't don't push yourself but this is very strengthening for the legs so i'm going to move my feet back hands at the hips to begin legs and feet hip width apart breathe in exhale stand part way knees are bent good arms can come to the front or overhead, remember this is the most challenging position. Good, lower the hands. Now we're gonna find the seat. Gently press your lower legs back till they touch the chair and then sit back down. So your intention always is to keep your eyes level with the horizon. That helps with balance and it helps with stability. We're gonna do that twice more. Breathe in. Exhale, stand up. Adding or not the arms as you choose. Push your lower legs back, sit back down. And once more, breathe in. Exhale, engage the core, stand up, shoulders back. Arms engage. Find the seat with your legs. Sit back down. And let's just shake the legs out. Woo! Very strengthening. Feels really good. Okay. So now we'll stand up. Come to the side of the chair. We'll stand alongside the left side of the chair. We'll do a little balance. We'll do some warrior, that kind of thing. Okay. 
So remember, whenever we're doing any kind of standing work, whether it's balancing or just standing poses, the knees are never locked. We always keep that little micro bend in the knee so the muscles can work. Okay, so shifting your weight to the leg closest to the chair, really exhale and press that foot down. Begin to lift your left foot. So we're gonna come up a little bit at a time. You can hold on if you like or not. You can release the chair or not, it's up to you. Again, balance poses are also working on strength because the leg that's supporting you is engaged. So you're not just working on balance, you're working on strength as well. Let's come into tree pose, take the knee out to the side, choose a position that works for your foot, ground through the supporting leg, and build the branches of your tree. Reach up for the sky, find the breath. Lovely, lower the hand. And we're gonna take that left leg and bend it and draw the thigh and the knee back. I'm just gonna stretch out the front of the leg. So if you can manage to capture your foot, do so. Draw the thigh back. Make sure you're breathing. Great, and lower the foot. Ooh, that's a deep stretch. So we're gonna come into warrior. I'm gonna take my left foot and step it back. Make the hips face forward. You can release the chair if you feel comfortable. Add the arms. Reach up. Breathe. And from here, we'll go into warrior two. So I'm gonna take my left arm, sweep it behind me. Right arm sweeps forward. Nice bend in the forward knee. Gazing off into the horizon. Wonderful. So here's a little challenge for you. Take your left arm, drop it down behind you. Take your right arm and sweep it up so you're coming into a little bit of a back bend. So this is kind of challenging. If you need to hold on to the chair, you can. And you're breathing. Great, lower the hands, step the feet together, and step them apart. Setting up for five-pointed star. So one arm can extend or both arms can extend. Press down into your feet. Separate your fingers away from each other. I'm gonna move into goddess pose. So I create a little bend in the knees, bend my elbows, Palms facing my head. A lot of work going on in the lower body here. Really press down into the feet. Great. We'll move into triangle from here. So I'm gonna turn my left foot so it's facing the chair. Right foot turns in slightly. And that left arm reaches up. Remember that extension you got when you did the arm sweep. So try to feel that between your ribs. Reaching side bend. You can release the chair. It's always an option. Let's do one more breath here. Both knees are soft, don't forget. 
Great. Inhale, bring that arm up and down. And again, a little bit of a counter stretch here. Feels really good. So we're gonna finish on this side with the runner stretch. So I'm going to turn my left foot so it's facing the chair along with the right. Remember, this is the stretch where you wanna bend directly from the hip crease. You can even put your fingers there so you know that it's a flat back and not a rounded back. Here we go, reaching out. Hands can come to the chair. They can come down, they can come behind you. Don't lock your knees. And one more deep breath. And reverse hinge coming all the way up. And I'm gonna add another little back bend here. Step your feet together, take a breath, and we'll go to the other side. So my weight shifts to my left foot, and I begin to lift my right. Always move slowly, because you wanna, you wanna know when your body says, okay, that's enough for me. Relax your shoulders. And we'll circle the ankle. Again, you can let go of the chair if you like. So to set up for tree, guide that knee out to the side and either place it on the floor, alongside your calf, wherever is most comfortable for you. One hand or two for the branches. And we breathe. Good, one more breath and let the exhale then bring you back. And we'll set up for the quad stretch. So I'm gonna bend that knee, grab the foot if I can. So again, I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see what I'm doing here. So the knee is not coming forward, I'm drawing it back. That's what's gonna give you the stretch in that big quad muscle in the front of the leg. Relax your shoulders. Great, and we'll move into warrior pose. So this time it's the right foot that steps back. Hips are square to the front of the room. One arm or both arms reaching up. Again, even though the fingertips are lifted, the shoulders relax down your back. From here, we'll move into warrior two. So left arm extends forward, right arm reaches back. A little bit more of a bend in that left knee. Gaze is out over the left hand. Breath is steady. Good, and if you'd like to try that challenge move, just drop your right arm down, sweep the left arm up and over. A little bit of a counter stretch. And bring it back. So, stepping the feet apart, getting ready for five-pointed star. Fingertips reach out. Feet ground into the earth, head is lifted. Dropping down into goddess pose. Keep drawing the elbows and the shoulders back to open your heart. Good. 
Good. Pressing into your feet, getting ready for triangles. So I'm going to turn my left foot towards the chair, right foot in slightly. Reach up with the right arm over to the side. So again, your choice if you'd like to release that left hand from the chair, be my guest if you feel safe. Great. Inhale, bring it up. Little counter stretch. And let's prepare for straight legged runner stretch. Right foot faces the chair. Knees are soft. We're going to hinge right at the hips. So I always say think about extending from the crown to the tailbone rather than bending. That'll bring you into the right kind of alignment. Put the stretch right where it's needed. Again, if you want to come further, you can bring your hands to the front of your legs. You can bring it to the back. Don't lock your knees. And on an inhale, up we come. Great. Again, that little counter stretch. Step your feet together. And take a well-earned seat. So you're all going to be ready to go out and run a marathon now, right? Maybe not, but that's okay. So now we just take a moment to sit. If you want to just do a few twists here just to settle in for relaxation, that's fine. Letting your eyes close once again. Checking in with your body, your mind, your heart. Hoping that your yoga practice, yoga, which means union, is bringing you all together. Remember, like they say in those raffles, you have to be present to win. So let's bring ourselves really present to enjoy the practice. This is our time to watch and observe and learn. Resisting that urge to run ahead into your day and staying with the moment. Let the breath be your anchor. And then guiding your breath so that it becomes a little deeper. And just letting yourself stretch, move in any way you feel comfortable doing so. I like to circle on my hips, making sure I go in both directions. Bringing your hands to prayer position. Let's join our voices once again in an OM. Deep breath. Oh. OM Shanti, peace. May all beings be happy, 
May all beings be healthy. May all beings be free from fear. And may all beings everywhere enjoy peace. Namaste.